Hey ninjas, we back. And listen, we got our investigative hat on today. And we've been looking and our analytics is not up. So you like, you subscribe, you share. We will be more consistent. But you like, you subscribe, and you share. But with our investigative hats on today, we're going to take a look. Because we hear all this. We hear about, uh, you know, this CRT, critical race theory. And uh, we hear about um, the social engineering being put into uh, textbooks and into the curriculum in schools. And, you know, they putting too much sex and all type of things inside schools. So, I know y'all hear my squeaky chair, that's what I'm thinking. We got this, but anyway, we want to check this out because I seen something from Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. And what he said, it can't be true. Because Ron DeSantis is talking about pimping. He talking about China, uh, the Chinese kids ain't learned about pimping in school. So what in the hell is going on? We're going to bring you a couple articles, get you up on everything. You take it, run with it, do with it what you got to do with it. But we're going to go over these articles for you. All right, ninjas. Check this out. All right, this from the Daily Wire. In China, kids aren't learning about pimping in math class. DeSantis press secretary blasts critics of state's academic standards. I said, what the hell is going on? What are you talking about? Pimping in math? No, not, no better than that. So Florida Governor Ron DeSantis press secretary Christina Pushaw claimed critics of the Sunshine State's recent decision to reject dozens of mathematics books for containing indoctrinating concepts need a reality check. Pushaw added that a homework assignment in Missouri that used questionable topics showed that it's no wonder China is winning when it comes to education. On Saturday, the Daily Wire reported that the Florida Department of Education announced that after a recent review, 41% of proposed Kindergarten through 12th grade mathematics books intended for use during the 2022 through 2023 public school year did not meet state academic standards due to their apparent inclusion of critical race theory principles and other controversial approaches to education. Some critics wondered how an arithmetic textbook could ever run afoul of such standards. For example, Florida State Representative Carlos D. Smith tweeted, DeSantos is hysterically pulling math books out of Florida schools claiming they indoctrinate kids with CRT. This isn't just crazy right-wing right pandering. Next, they'll spend millions of tax dollars forcing schools to buy math books from GOP campaign donors. Yo, listen. Check this out. Now, this seems, you know, this seems like, hey, hold up. What are these races doing? Because they're saying, you know, because from what from from what the, the black community, what we've been taught is that critical race theory is something that's anti, uh, that is pro-black and is supposed to put white people in their place, put black people in their place, and everybody's supposed to be all right. You know what I mean? This is what CRT is supposed to do, allegedly. So, you know, um, as stated above, though, there was a, there was, Recently, some some uh, text, some text, some information from a school in Missouri, and this was tweeted out. Right, this was tweeted out, and what I'm going to do is we're going to pause for the calls. We're going to go to the main article. All right, now we hear ninjas. What is this? What is this? What is this? Y'all got to explain this here to me. Because after we go over this, you're going to have to explain to me why this is incorporated in education. How is this good for my child or any child, period? Math assignment in Missouri teaches children about Maya Angelou's past of sexual abuse work as prostitute. A math homework plan circulating over Twitter on Saturday exposes the absurdity that children are being subject to. 
In this case, learning about author Maya Angelou's life of sexual abuse when she was eight years old and her work as a pimp, prostitute, and a nightclub dancer. While this lesson was out of Missouri, it also further reinforces how right Florida's Department of Education was for rejecting 41% of math textbooks since they contain prohibited concepts such as critical race theory as Landon covered earlier on Saturday. All right. Um... Here we go. We're going this is the article. And this is this is the tweet. Connor met Connor Martin, the Bedford Town Township Republican Central Committee man, had tweeted out a picture of the homework assignment on Friday. This is it. This is a math homework from a public school district in Missouri. Uh look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look, at this. look this is as big as you need it to be. Y they saw y equal x plus two three x plus six y equal twelve. They solve it for y and x. Now let's see what the word problem is that they give to help you solve for y and x because this is how we learned it. When I was growing up, they give you math, they give you a word problem, they inside of the word problem, they give you information. And then you saw for why next they help you learn it. So Angelou was sexually abused by her mother's blank at age eight, which shaped her career choice and motivation for writing. Whoa, where, where is the help? How are y'all not helping me solve for why I accent? I'm supposed to get, you know, if I was supposed to get something about the why and the X. What the f whoa, 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 whoa. They try to jump me off here, but wait, we going back. They're trying to get me out of here, y'all. They want to get me out of here. But look, look, look. Explain this to me. How, what, what in that, what in this text that you see can help you solve for Y or X? What is this? What is this that we, what is this that we get? Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's go on to the answers. A, boy, A, zero or two. Boyfriend, B, four or six, brother, C, negative three, negative one, father. What the hell is my kid? What the hell has got to do with it? Oh, what? Huh? Just make, y'all, listen, listen. This is what I'm telling you. Just look, 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 look. They try to destroy your kids in public school. Now, let's go on to the next question. We don't even understand what the hell. After reading that, I wouldn't get nothing. I would get nothing is the answer. Nothing. 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 My child would get nothing, nothing. Again, we solve it for X and Y. X is equal to Y minus 1. Y is equal to negative 4X plus 21. Trying to, to support her son as a single mother, she worked as a pimp, prostitute, and A, negative three, negative two, bookie, B, nine, ten, drug dealer, C, four, five, nightclub dancer. What the fuck they got to do with it? What the fuck they got to do with my kid's education right here, man? What they, what they, why, what does learning about Maya Angelou Allegedly being raped as a child. Said to be working as to have been a pimp, a prostitute. What is what what is to be glorified about that? If they telling you that the rap music should be glorified and all this stuff. What is to be glorified about this? Why is this incorporated in the education? If anything, if you want to talk about this shit with Maya Angelou, you have classes when you get to the 10th, 11th, 12th grade. When you have certain uh, classes in reading and literature and things of that nature, where those things, where her autobiography and biography, all that, all those things can be read. But why does this have to be into the mathematics? This is where the problem is. See, this is where the problem is. See, we don't want to see the real truth, man. We can't, you can't ride with the bullshit. Just because, listen, listen, listen. Hey, ninjas, wake up. Ninjas, wake up. Everything Democrat ain't good. Everything Republican ain't bad. I'll tell you this, though. 
everything, everything liberal is wrong. Everything liberal is wrong. It's nothing that I see the liberals doing that's right. Nothing. I don't see shit right from them. I don't give a damn what they say, what it is. I don't see nothing right from them. They, they don't come with no logic. This is illogical right here to put. Now, let's go on. We're going to go on. Listen. Yo, this is not fake. You understand me? This is not fake. This is not fake. This is real. You know what I mean? Look. Look. I'm reaching out. This is this is the school. They reaching out. I'm reaching out to you with the following information regarding the growth, growing conversation in our community. An assignment from the ninth grade center was brought to the attention of our building district leadership over the extended weekend and included content that is not in line with approved curriculum. We extend our most sincere apologies for any offense that is that is caused and want to assure our community that this content does not align with the beliefs of the mission of Lincoln County. R3 school district. Unfortunately, the assignment originally originated from a website that allows teachers around the world to share educational resources. At this time, it has been re removed from the course and steps are being taken to ensure that it's not used in the future. Should, should you have any questions, feel free to reach out to my office or your child's building administration teams. Come on, man. Listen, come on, man. Come on. Listen, this is what they... They got you learning about pimping in the ninth grade through math. What is the hell is going on? You know, this is crazy. This is crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, like I said, the superintendent apologized. And, you know, um, after that, the content creator. Look, Clint Clark, who is the chief executive of Clark Creative Education, is referencing a piece from Parents Defending Education. Clint Clark, the creator of the worksheet and chief executive of Clark Creative Education, told parents defending education that he created the worksheet as a teacher at Columbus International High School between 2010 and 2012 for a course on human trafficking in the Algebra 1 class. He said, I do regret that I put it online. He has since revised the worksheet with new questions. What in the hell are you talking about? On... A class on human trafficking in an Algebra 1 class. What? Man, there's no Algebra in human trafficking classes, man. What the, what the hell is he talking about? This is the shit that they feeding your children on. Yo, we got to take... Yo, listen, if you're a parent... If you're a parent, if you're a civilized human being, you're going to have to uh, really take back over whatever legislation you got in your, in your community. Period, point blank. Or you're going to have to really remove your children from any educational system that's publicly funded, they're gonna ruin your children. They're gonna ruin your children. They ruin already got a whole generation right now who don't know the difference between he and she. Don't know male, female. Don't know. But they have a group that they are a part of called the LGBTQ. They'll tell you there's no, there are a numerous amounts of sexes but still have a B in the LGBT, which say bisexual, which, which, which is, it just means there's only two. These people are crazy. Listen, they crazy, they going nuts. Ninjas, watch out. Protect yourself. Like, hate, comment, subscribe. We out.